Welcome to this presentation where we discuss the advanced search on the Ovid platform. In this tutorial, we will look at the following areas. We will also provide a video demonstration of the advanced search mode. The advanced search mode is the preferred option for conducting a comprehensive and well-defined search. Searching one database at a time is strongly recommended when you are using the advanced search. Advanced search uses a combination of subject headings and or keywords. We'll be showing both types in this tutorial. A structured step-by-step -step approach is used for the advanced search mode. This is very different to the quick search in the basic search mode. This tutorial deals with the advanced search mode for the Medline fully indexed database 1946 to present. Remember, other databases in Ovid will have very similar functionality. Preparing your search strategy. In a basic search mode, users can type a complete phrase, for example, warfarin treatment for heart failure in men. However, in the advanced search mode, we must take a different and more precise approach. In the advanced search, we must only introduce individual search terms or concepts in the search box. We do this in order to discover if the term exists as a subject heading in the controlled vocabulary of the database thesaurus. Subject headings are a consistent way to retrieve all papers on a topic, regardless of the words used by the original author. With subject headings, you increase considerably your chances of retrieving relevant results. Searching for a subject heading in the advanced search mode. Enter the first of your terms or concepts into the search box, for example, heart failure. Notice that the map term to subject heading box is ticked. This means you're going to check if the term exists as a subject heading in the database Theosaurus. Click on search to continue. The mapping display shows the best matches for your term. If your term is selected, you can continue to the next string. You can also click on the highlighted term to view its position in the database thesaurus. The database controlled vocabulary. In the Medline database, a tree structure is used to index the thesaurus terms. In this database, all subject headings are listed in alphabetical order within their predefined categories. Your selected term will be automatically highlighted, and on the right you will see the number of records indexed with that term. Any related terms will be shown just below your main term, as we can see in the example for heart failure. The Ovid Medline Tools Tick the Explode box next to heart failure if you wish to include all the specific terms below in your search. This would increase the number of hits. Tick the focus box if you wish to retrieve only those articles where heart failure is the major topic or focus of the article. This would decrease the number of hits. Click on the scope note icon to see a definition of your subject heading. It is not necessary to use the explode or focus options. However, they can help considerably in defining your search. Click on continue once you have finished. Subheadings. Subheadings are predefined filters that allow you to refine your selected subject heading term to specific topics. If you are not sure what subheading to select, then we recommend that you select them all by clicking on the button to continue. This entire process is repeated for the next subject heading term, for example, warfarin and so on. Keywords can be used instead of subject headings in advanced searches. Keyword searches look for your terms in specific predefined fields within the database. Truncation can be used to find different word variations and plurals as shown in the example. Remember to remove the tick from the map term to subject heading box to search using keywords. To combine advanced searches, users must first check the individual boxes. Combine the sets with Boolean operators and or or 
Notice their position in the Ovid interface. After combining your search with Booleans, use the limits to narrow your results further. Limits are located under the advanced search box. Click on the additional limits button to see all the database limits. Use the expand option on the right to view the completed search strategy. Remember the option to remove selected if there are sets that are no longer valid in your search. On the results page, notice the links on the right of each record. The complete reference provides a full bibliographic overview of the record. When available, there will be Ovid full text or full text links to the articles. Find Similar automatically provides similar results based on the current record title. Find Citing Articles finds Ovid journals which reference the current record. And if requested, additional links can be added by the Ovid support team. It is easy to create auto alerts and saved searches in your chosen database. First, click on the Save All button. You will then be asked to authenticate yourself using the personal account feature. If you do not have a personal account set up in the system, the system will allow you to create one. This is a free service. To save a search or create an auto alert, first introduce a name and then select permanent or auto alert from the drop down menu. Click on save to store your search strategy. If the auto alert option is selected, the process will require a more in-depth configuration before saving. Remember, you can contact the Ovid support team for assistance or watch our other video tutorials on this subject. In the advanced search mode, we have to introduce individual search terms into the search box provided. Ovid Medline will automatically verify if your term exists as a descriptor in the control vocabulary of the database. In Medline, these descriptors are also known as mesh terms. Our first term to be searched for and verified is heart failure. Introduce my concept or term. Ensure map term to subject heading has been selected and search. On the next page, the mapping display shows the term or terms that best match your search. The term selected will be shown among the Medline controlled vocabulary terms. You can see immediately how many records are indexed when you click on the subject heading. Here is the tree structure for heart failure in Medline, separated by categories. Here is our descriptor, heart failure and the number of hits. The columns to the right of the descriptor allow users to either explode, focus or see the scope note for their chosen descriptors. These are described in more detail in the presentation. On the next screen, we have subheadings. These allow users to narrow the search for their chosen descriptor to predefined areas. To search across all the subheadings, simply press continue. The advanced search using descriptors is continued for further additional terms. Our search history shows our current search and the number of results. Another type of advanced search is the search using keywords. Keywords allow users to search in predefined fields among others, the article title and its abstract. It is also possible to truncate your keywords using either the asterisk or dollar sign at the end of your chosen word. In our example, we will use, again, the word heart failure, but this time with the asterisk for truncation. Truncation has the effect of allowing users to search for word variations of the word fail, including the plural forms. Ensure that you uncheck the box map term to subject heading when searching using keywords. We can now see the individual searches and our keyword search in our search history box. 
Now we can combine our individual searches using Boolean operators. Booleans enable users to reduce the number of results. The search history will now reflect only those results that have our keywords. In order to combine, select the sets from the search history and choose the required Boolean operator. After combining all your searches with Booleans, this next step might be the application of the database limits. These are found just below the search space. You will also find not just your default limits, but also additional limits for your chosen database. In Medline, there are plenty of limits to choose from. In this example, we will select mail, publication year, and we will click on limit the current search to these limits. We can now see our completed search strategy and the number of results 263. The advanced results are always in date order, date of entry into the database. We do not see any star ranking here as we saw in the basic search. When available, click on full text or Ovid full text to go straight to the full text of the article. It is also easy to save your search strategy and create auto alerts. In order to do so, click on Save All. You will also be asked to introduce your personal account credentials to save your search strategy or create auto alerts. If you do not have a personal account created, you can do this now. This is also a free service. Next, give a name to your search, then select the option Permanent, and then click on Save to keep your search strategy permanently in the system. If you have selected the option Auto Alert, it will be necessary to configure the alert further before you save it. Remember, users can always contact Ovid Support if they have any doubts about these steps. Many thanks for your attention. On the Ovid website, there are many training resources in various languages. Click on the link to access our training page directly for more information. Users can also access the Ovid Training Resources Center from within the Ovid Search platform. Click on the link Support and Training in the top right-hand corner of the Ovid interface. Remember to also consult our excellent help guide for lots of informative details and guidance. Thank you for your attention during this presentation. Please send your questions to our sales and customer services teams at support at ovid.com.